I'm really not gonna even lie to y'all boys. My pockets is hurt because I keep sitting here making these bills and it's like Ronnie and all of them don't care. They're like, oh, oh, give me your money. As y'all boys know, I have dinner, every bill on current gen and next gen. Like I really do be doing this in this builder. It's just that we keep finding these overpowered builds and it's like, bro, just why not put VC on it and play on it? Come on, look at that face. You see that face? You wouldn't put no VC on that character? But hold on, y'all. Listen, bro. A girl called me a random the other day. In my Instagram, DS, I replied to her story. So look, go ahead and follow me on IG, bro. It just popped up on the screen. But look, I'm going to be showing y'all boys the best play shot build in NBA 2K23. This build is the most requested build video on my channel right along with the center. I don't even play center, so I don't even know why y'all want that for me. But I can still help them in this builder and create one. Don't get it twisted. Hit the like and that sub, and let's get right into it. So as y'all boys already know, man, we're starting off with the point guard position for this build. For the hand, we're gonna go with the right handed. I'll go right hand on all my characters, you know what I'm saying? But if you go left, go left. And for the judging number, like I said in my last video, I don't think I should have to show anybody this. But if I do, you know what I'm saying? Just pick 32. Now, for the height this year, for the guards, man, you know what I'm saying? I know we used to go like the shortest we can go around, like here, like the shortest we can go. But now, this year, we can go 6 1. And the reason why you go 6 1 is to get the driving dunk. Like, like, short guards can actually dunk this year, you know what I'm saying? And for the weight, we're gonna go 160. That's the lowest you can go. And for the wingspan, we're gonna go 6 3 wingspan. And I'm gonna show you why we're gonna go 6 3 wingspan. And for the body shape, I ain't gonna lie. I be getting on my back about this, you know what I'm saying? For me, looking body shape is really on what you prefer, you know what I'm saying? I go slightly with all the builds like this or any build i have that can get if it gets slight i'm going slight now starting off with the finishing you know what i'm saying you feel me? listen only thing we're going to touch it here is our driving dunk we're going to go ahead and match that out to the 86 and we match that out to the 86 we hit the threshold to get limitless takeoff on gold you know what i'm saying for me finishing in this game is really easy you know what i'm saying for me like it's mad easy and the only reason why it's mad easy because a lot of people don't have anchor on their builds you know what i'm saying at least on gold you know what i'm saying you feel me so like they can't really stop nobody in the paint they're gonna stop you but they're not gonna stop you nine times out of ten i have a build with gold anchor and i stop all these short guards from dunking at a, at a nice consistent rate or what we in the games, you know what I'm saying? I get blocks and things like that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not really complaining. When I get on my 6-8, I literally have like the most fun ever. Now coming down here to the shooting, you know what I'm saying? All we're gonna do is put this up to a, a 93. And the only way we're gonna put this up to a 93 because listen, we're gonna hit the threshold on this build. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna really go too OD on this play shot. You know what I'm saying? From we're, we're just gonna go hit right here. Cause I wanna go OD on something else that I want y'all boys to see. And you gonna be like, damn, I ain't gonna lie, this build gonna be fire. And we're gonna leave our mid range at a 70. We're not gonna need to touch that. Leave it right there. Now for the ball control, we're gonna go with the 94 ball control. We're gonna put this to a 94. You know what I'm saying? So we, you know we can get our handles for days on gold. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? That's for the people that want it. You know what I'm saying? And me personally, I don't even think handles for days is a really big badge this year. You know what I'm saying? I really run miles on bronze on my other guard, but for but people that go crazy and cuckoo nuts about this badge, we're gonna go ahead and put it to that 94 so you can get that. We're gonna go ahead and put our speed with ball to a 93 and put our pass accuracy to a 70. You know what I'm saying? So we get 25 and 25. 25 shooting and 25 playmaking. And as y'all boys know, once you uh go ahead and get into the actual build, y'all get the plus. I think well, I get plus six. You know what I'm saying? So y'all probably get like plus four, plus five. Depending on if you hit 40 the last two seasons, plus if you did the challenges and things like that, you should get plus six. But I get plus six. So they already know, man. We're going to skip the defense. We're not going to touch this. This right here, we do not touch. Listen, don't touch this defense. You're a point guard. You're a six one point guard. You're, you're not. We don't need defense. So I should not see no defense on your build. You're going to be a liability on defense. This is why you have a lockdown. This is why you have a big man. This is why you have those bills right there. Those bills right there is for the defense, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're only going to use this bill on a threes court. This is not a twos bill. If you want to make a twos version of a guard, let me know down below in the comment section. I will definitely do that for y'all boys. You know what I'm saying? For me because y'all, listen. This is to get like, threes on threes. You hear me? And coming down to the physicals, you know what I'm saying? For me, the acceleration, we're, we're going to upgrade our acceleration first. The acceleration is what does all the speed boosting and all the fast stuff like that. You're going to go ahead and pick that to a 96. We're going to go ahead and pick that to a 90. We're going to max that out. That's the only stat that's going to get maxed out right along with the driver duck on this build. We're going to come down to our stamina and go ahead and put that to a 95. You know what I'm saying? Once you get gym right, you're going to have 99 stamina. Gym right actually not even hard to get in current gen. You know what I'm saying? You for me. And once you get it from one build, it goes to all builds. So if you already have it, you're ahead of the game. And for this, we're just going to leave it at the 83 because this is for literally like lockdowns for a lockdown you want to max this out you want to have your acceleration kind of high but you want to max this out and like i do with all my other builds, y'all boys see we got 
like one or two extra points, you can go ahead and max out something else if you want to. You can go ahead and do your ball control if you wanted to. You can go ahead and put your three ball up more if you wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Only one. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go ahead and put your pass, your ball hit. Like you can do what you want. I ain't gonna lie. With this, with this point, you could do what you want. This extra point, I give you the freedom to do what what you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna stop you. You can go ahead and get 26, 26 like I did. Or you can go ahead and upgrade your pass accuracy to the 75. You know what I'm saying? You can do what you want. If I was you, I would go ahead and put my pass accuracy to the 75. You know what I'm saying? Get 27 play big kit. And then put my plus 6 on my extra best that I get when I actually make the character on the shooting. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? But as y'all boys see, we got 15, 25, 27, and 2. Now, as y'all boys notice, we started out with 12 finishing when we first touched our finishing. When we came down and touched some other things, it gave us three more badges. You gotta pay attention, you feel me? I put the rest of the points on free throw, cause some of y'all be acting like, yo, man, what I put the rest of the points? What I put the rest of the points? Like, nothing else is glowing, bro. Nothing else is glowing. Like, use your brain. That's what I be talking about. You gotta use your brain. Now, for these takeovers, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I actually did fall in love with the playmaking takeover. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But I would put shot creator first, and I would put playmaking next. You know what I'm saying? Playmaking, uh, shot creator and sharpshooter is really not that far. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Like, you know, it's up to you, though. It's up to you. Or you can do Slash it in sla uh, slashing and shot creating, you know what I'm saying? For me, or play in slashing, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, oh, these takeovers really don't mean nothing this year. Like, if you're good, you're gonna be good at the game, bro. Literally, you know what I'm saying? But I'll go with the play tape. As y'all boys see, we made a three point shot create. This name is not too crazy, it's a generic name. But y'all boys, all right, now I'm gonna show y'all how to do these badges, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? And with the 15, you're gonna go with X. Acrobat on bronze, you're gonna go with take off on gold, posterize on silver, fearless finisher on bronze, you're gonna put your slippery on uh, silver too, and you got you're gonna put your giant slayer on bronze, and you got one more, you know what I'm saying? You can feel you can go ahead and put that on pro touch, even though you're not gonna even use it, you know what I'm saying? Put that on pro touch, or you can put it on aerial wizard, you know and say if you're gonna catch lobs, or somebody's gonna throw you a lock probably one day, I don't know, like I don't know how y'all boys be playing, you know what I'm saying? Because I play different from everybody, like you play different from me, I play different from you. For the shooting badges, this should be like really easy, you know what I'm saying? Depending on if you have this 25 or you put extra badges on it, you're going to put Agent 3 on gold. You're going to go ahead and put your green machine on gold, volume shooter on gold or silver. You know what I'm saying? But for the same, I'm going to say I'm going to put it on silver. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put my, my amp on gold. You know what I'm saying? I have mines on Hall of Fame on my other guard. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put it on gold for this build right here. I'm going to put our dead eye on silver. I don't put dead eye no higher. It don't need to be no higher. I'm going to put blinders on gold. I'm gonna put limitless range on gold. Now, as y'all boys can see, but this is actually a very good lineup. You know what I'm saying? Now, I actually run cluster or on bronze, so you know, if I wanted to, I would go ahead and take this down and do that, or like you know, take my green machine down. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I get two extras and put that up. You know, like come on, like you know. But you really don't even need that bad. I don't want you thinking that you need plus shooter. I just have it because I have damn near like 29 shooting badges or 30 shooting badges. But the playmaking, I'm not gonna lie to y'all boys, man. I got a couple new playmaking badges I run. I put clamp breakers on gold, handles for days on bronze, quick first step on Hall of Fame, you already know. I put bailout on bronze, you know what I'm saying? Needle threader will go bronze. I'll put hyper drop on gold. I'll put killer combos on gold, and I'll go ahead and pick gold um, pluckable. Now, I'll pluckable at gold, I have never really used because I get mines on Hall of Fame, so I really couldn't tell you, you know what I'm saying, what's the difference between Hall of Fame and uh, gold, but and so I would just run it the highest you can. If somebody's gonna pluck you in this game, they're going to pluck you. It's as simple as that. You just gotta live with it. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I will tell you that next gen plucks are way worse. Like they're way worse. So you're you're listen, you're 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 just going through the bare minimum of people stealing the ball from you. And for this, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna go and put your work cards and your off-ball pests. Like you're not gonna even really get these two badges unless you really grind your defensive badges. You know what I'm saying? Like who's gonna sit there and actually grind their defensive badges on a six-one play shot though? Here y'all boys go, man. The best point guard bail in season three of NBA 2K23. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I got y'all boys with that center bill. It's coming. You know what I'm saying? That is like a very requested video on my channel. And like, like people keep asking me to make a center bill. to show them how to make a center bill popper and inside. You know what I'm saying? So I got y'all boys. You know what I'm saying? I play with a lot of poppers. I put a lot of inside. I see what they do. And I can actually probably make my own and go crazy in that bit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Due time, I'm going to see what's up. I'm going to go in the building. You know what I'm saying? If you know, when I make bills, I pay money on it. So yeah, you know? I got y'all boys. But hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me. Make sure that bell turn on all post notifications. It's December, so more uploads coming just like this. I hope y'all boys enjoy, man. Peace.